What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of Neko Navy. So today uh, we're going to be doing uh, kind of a special episode on focusing on Chiyoko. I'm going to be playing uh, just with this character just to see if I can get a feel for um, what he's like. Uh, now we already learned basically that Miracle has a very direct fire strategy. He fires in a straight line and uh, he has a flamethrower special ability, so he's really good. He just, you can snipe uh, high HP enemies from a distance, um, but he's more difficult to, uh, to do crowd control stuff with. Uh, Mugi is kind of in the middle. Uh, he has a great direct fire as well as some spread, and his special attack um, is good for crowd control, but it also does a lot of damage to bosses. Uh, Chiyoko is kind of on the other side. He's, he's basically just for crowd control. Uh, he does okay damage up front, but really, it's the spread of fire that's really good, and his uh, special attack does um, a little bit of damage but across the whole screen. So he, he's all about crowd control and making sure there are as few enemies on the screen as possible so that there's less to deal with. Um, this is me just commenting, I'm not sure, but I think there's a slight dis difference in uh, character speed as well. Uh, Miracle being the fastest, again Mugi being the middle, and Chiyoko being the slowest. So anyways, with that in mind, we're going to play with uh, Chiyoko today and uh, see how that works out. Um, so this is actually the first day, this is, this, I'm playing this on release day, and, uh, they've updated the game a little bit, so there's a, there's a few more graphical options, I can skip the, um, I'm pretty sure I can skip the, the, um, the preview screen. Um, and I can also turn off the continues, uh, which I couldn't do before, I'm pretty sure. Uh, which is nice, um, fully because it'll kind of force us to get good at the game, because it, it, it playing with continues was nice. But I, I felt like I was playing with training wheels on, you know? So, even if I have to replay the first couple levels a few times, um, you know, I, I'll actually get to the point where I have to beat the first few levels without getting hit in order to continue. Um, that said, if you prefer me to play with continue so you can see more of the game and it's a little less repetitive, then please let me know in the comments. Um, but for now, this is how I'm going to choose to play the game. So yeah, as you can see, um, I can basically just sit in one spot and clear out all of these fools. Um, it's nice because I can focus a little bit more on my dodges. Um, I don't have to play as aggressively. Uh, what it does mean is that uh, if there are some enemies um, with more hit points, they're going to be harder to, to take care of. You have to get in close and kind of keep a tight spread on them in order to hit, as, as, hit them with as many bullets as possible. Uh, case in point, here comes the boss. Um, Again, this is kind of like a multi-segmented boss. I think most of the bosses in this game are multi-segmented. But what that means is that, um, like, I can kind of focus my shots on uh, one area or the next, but... Oh, wow, game over already? Huh. Did I get hit twice already? Am I not paying attention? All right, well, in any case. I wonder, maybe, maybe I've made a mistake. <laughs> uh, I assume no continues means I can't use tokens. But it might mean that, like, I only get one life. Or maybe I got hit twice and I wasn't paying attention. We'll, we'll find out. This time I'll actually pay attention to if I'm getting hit or not. I'm Here I am yammering my, my, my face off, not paying attention to the freaking game. Alright, I got hit once, um, so the answer is I am just an idiot. And I got hit too many times before, and I wasn't paying attention. That's fine. So keeping in mind, we can only get hit three times before we have to start over, so don't get hit. Very uh, classic bullet hell that way. You don't uh, just don't make mistakes. The game's fine as long as uh, you know you don't uh, you don't get it. The game's trivial as long as you don't do like that thing that's like really hard to not do. You know. All right, so we're just clear. We're like these guys don't stand a chance. Those the little ones, they're just done. Those guys are taking a lot more hits before they go down. It's a little easier if I get close to them because more of my uh, my bullets hit them, just because the, the spread is a bit tighter. But um, you know, it's still going to be very difficult in the in the future to deal with uh, enemies. Now, of course, even in between continues and between lives, I do keep my power ups. So you know, it's it's I, I'm gonna my damage will scale with um, like kind of 
the difficulty of the levels. So it's not like I'm going to be running into huge trouble later. I should also be using my... Um, oh, I think I just figured out how that works. Okay, so I want to be using the bombs because they uh, they do give me gold coins instead of just these blue coins, which uh, do a lot, which are worth a lot more. I get the feeling. I, I originally thought that it pays out in gold coins when I do damage, but it might just convert all the bullets to um, to gold coins. I'm not sure if that's the case or not. I'll, I'll have to keep an eye on that. So if I so it, I'll, I'll do one with a lot of enemies that um, don't have bullets on the screen. Like if I shoot now. Oh, okay. Well, not now. I have to wait till my bomb is recharged. Uh, I know my bomb is recharged, by the way, because the ring around my character will be filled in. So right now it's about two-thirds, three-quarters. Okay, great. Now I can use my bomb. So I'll, I'll kill him. Yeah, okay. So it's actually... Yeah, I think I think the, the, the coins that would drop as blue coins instead become gold coins if I bomb. That's just uh, that's just speculation. I'm not I'm not 100% sure on the game mechanics there. Now, what I do want to know is if it's more worthwhile to try and bomb lots of little guys, or if it's more worthwhile to use bombs on big guys like that. Hard to say. Okay. I'm gonna dodge those. I think I'm gonna try and use bombs on the big guys just because, like, a lot of the little guys are kind of dead before I get the opportunity to shoot them. Um, just because that is this character's specialty. Maybe that'll change uh, character to character. I haven't gotten into bomb strats too much because I only figured out how they worked like halfway through my... Um, I think during the Moogie video. So it was too late for uh, the other one. Yeah, okay. So the uh, the bomb also gives you a couple seconds or like a second or two of iframes. Um, which is really nice. Because um, you, you can help get you out of a spot of trouble. Now, this character is going to be excellent for this particular boss fight because pretty much no matter where I am on the screen, I'm going to be doing damage. Which means I can focus on avoiding this veritable clusterfuck of bullets. <laughs> there are so many on the screen, I can't believe it. There we go. That did a lot of damage. That hurt him. Oh my goodness, I got hit again. Yeah, I'm going to get hit a lot on this fight because it's just fucking crazy. Oh, I'm dead. Oh no, I got him! I got him at the same time and he got me! Oh no, that's just insulting. Okay, well, that'll teach me to play better. Oh well. Let's see where our standing is. I feel like I did really well in that game. Okay, I don't I don't think I'm in the uh I don't think I'm 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 on the Steam list. I've been kicked off. Oh my goodness, yeah. All these guys are in are in the the one how many um, I have to count the zeros. I'm such an idiot. 100 million, yeah. Okay. So it takes like 150 million just to get onto the board now. Oh my goodness. Well, I guess there, there are people who have been playing since the game came out. Big surprise, right? I haven't uh, released my, my episode 1 in Echo Navy yet because I have to keep it under wraps until like noon Pacific time. I'm on the East Coast, so I got a, a chance to, to play a little bit ahead of the game, but it seems like a few other people have as well. Plus those people who are really waiting for the game to release, you know. Right. Pretty sure, pretty soon I'll, I'll just have to give up all hope of getting onto the leaderboards pretty much, because people much more talented than I at, at bullet hell games will start to appear on the scene, so I shouldn't worry too much about the, uh, the Steam leaderboards as much as my personal ones. Because then at least I'll be able to track my progress. What I would like to do is what I what I would like is um, for the game to kind of highlight your your current score, like the score you just got. Because right now it just kind of enters your name on the leaderboard. But if you ha you're in the habit of entering the same name again and again, you won't be able to tell which one is your score easily unless you like memorize what your score is basically when you die. So that would be kind of nice. Maybe they already do that and I'm blind. Oh well. Because it's like obviously I got a high score of some kind because it told me so. I should really be using my bombs on stage one. Help optimize uh, my score here. There we go. Let's get some early uh, big damage in there. I 
try and pick up these uh, the blue cats because they're going to recharge my bombs. That I'm not happy about. That was a very bad damage. There we go. Did a little bit more there. Got my gold coins. Try and uh, collect more of this stuff. Come on. I want the blue thing so I can bomb you to death and get bazillions of points. Yeah, look at that. That's good stuff right there. That's what I'm after. Got him. He's done. Cool. All right. So, I'm feeling good. That's a that's a pretty good score for for me, anyways. On the on the first stage, uh, 26 million. You know, not bad. So now day two. I did take a hit on stage one, which I'm not proud of. So that'll that'll take a little bit of practice before we get there. Um, but that's fine. We're gonna bomb these guys. Yeah, they're not really worth very many coins. I, I think... Yeah, I'm pretty sure... Um, the bomb payout for the gold coins is based... It just replaces the blue points you would have gotten with gold points instead. So, if I deal enough damage to... It, it, it'll just pay out with points that are worth more. Basically. So let's... Oh, don't have quite enough yet. There we go. Got him. Yeah, see? All those would have been blue, but now they're gold instead. So that's good to know. I have to get those in order to recharge the... Oh, no. No, no! I wanted to blow them up. That's okay. I'm getting these little guys, and that's recharged my bomb. So we'll, we'll wait for the big ones to come. And then we're gonna bomb those... There we go. That's worth a few points. Look at that. Nice. I think we've got the strat down, guys. Alright, so here's the boss. And we have a bomb ready, so that's really good. We can get that off early. Now, we'll just have to focus on not getting hit. So, the strategy is... I'm gonna stick to the bottom of the screen. Because a lot of the, uh, the shells kind of come down on top of me. So that'll give me the most time to react, I think. Whoops. That didn't go super well. Okay, we're gonna bomb again. I did some damage. I think I broke a couple of the flowers there. Oh my goodness. Get him. Oh my goodness. It's the basketballs of doom. He's moving so fast. Yes, I got him. Holy crap. Yeah, be being forced to play on uh, no continue mode is uh, doing good things for my gameplay. <laughs> because um, before, of course, I, um, I could just kind of hit continue and keep playing the game, but... Um, you don't you don't get to do that on that boss. Uh, you, it's uh, you don't get to do that with the, without the, the coins, of course. So it, getting past that boss actually feels really good because he's a toughie. I I just have a problem with um, bullets coming from multiple sources. Like if I it's it's just hard to track what direction to dodge in basically because different sources mean like unpredictable directions because like this guy fires a lot of bullets but I can kind of get in between the shots since I know where where they're coming from these guys get bombed yeah there we go that's worth a uh, tidy sum of points there nope. not enough to bomb there we go get wrecked get wrecked kiddo all right let's see we're, we're gonna get our bomb back soon I think there we go Pretty much if we if we kill like a couple of like really big guys, that's uh, when we start getting the uh, the bombs back. Yeah, I've already got it back just because I, I wrecked those guys. Alright, so yeah, this, those guys... Oh, I hate this. Get out of here. So those guys are really good to bomb too, because it gets them off the screen, of course, which means they can't pull the walls shut around me. No, well, I don't actually have enough coins yet. Now I have enough coins. So the next time they appear, I'm, they're getting shelled tell you that much. Yeah, so, we bomb both of them. Well, yeah. Oh, those cat things are gonna be really good to bomb, because there, there's a bunch of them, and they're worth a fair number of points. Get out of here. These guys, not so much. I, I'd rather just kind of clear them off the screen. They're not worth that many. It's not enough to waste a bomb on, basically. These guys get bombed. These guys get bombed. These guys get shot. 
These guys get bombed. All right. So I think I think we're uh, we're starting to get the feel for for bomb strats here. Getting the bomb meta under wraps. All right. So here comes the boss. I haven't actually encountered a boss on this uh, stage yet. I don't know if there is one. Yeah, I don't think there's a boss on this stage, at least not at the hard difficulty level. So, uh, works for me, I guess. Um, but the next one there is going to be a boss, and he's fairly difficult. Not as difficult as stage two. St stage two boss is really kicking my butt, but uh, stage four's boss is okay. He he's manageable as long as uh, you're kind of on the ball. These guys are a pain in the butt if you let them live long enough to start shooting at you, just because there's so many of them. Um, but he's, they're, they're pretty much no match for Chiyuki's, uh, epic spread shot here. He doesn't care. Now, do I not have enough for, uh, for the bombs? Sausages get bombs, because there's so many of them. We're gonna, we're gonna try and get a lot of them on the screen. There we go. Yeah, big payouts. Oh, I need to shoot more of them so that I get, uh, the blue coins to recharge. There we go. I wonder if the if the gold coins count as uh, blue coins for the purposes of picking up coins. Then again, I mean, like, they're just worth straight up more points, so I don't know if it matters in the end. I mean, you get bonus points for having the blue ones at the end, but I should probably bomb those guys just because I don't like having them on the screen. All right, sausages get bombed. There we go, look at that clears up a lot of the, the top half of the screen, too. Because before, I was just kind of struggling to keep into the into the bottom two-thirds, you know? Because I just I didn't want to get hit, because running into those sausages will hurt you, of course. Yeah, those guys get bombed. Oh, nope, I don't have one ready. Oh, no, he got me! Get wrecked. Get wrecked, kiddo. Nothing personnel. Those guys get bombed. Oh yeah, look at those sweet, sweet points. Look at them. Get out of here. All right, so here's the boss fight. I do have an extra hit. I do have an extra hit. Um, I feel like I've hit been hit more than once in this in this game so far. I wonder if I got one back. I wonder if you get every, what every like 10 million points or something. That's entirely possible. I would not put it past myself to just not notice that kind of stuff. Whoa, hello, hello. Actually, maybe I should save the bombs for uh, when he starts dropping stuff on top of me. Oh, or when that guy appears. That sucks. Oh my goodness, I hate this. Oh no, I almost made it. All right, I'm gonna wait for him to kind of drop something on top of me. There we go, get bombed. Yeah, look at that gold. Get that gold coins. Get in there. Good stuff. Oh, I hate this guy. Please die. Please die. Yeah! Get wrecked. Get wrecked, kid. Oh my goodness. I feel so, like... Uh, yeah. <laughs> I figured I was just getting lucky there. Oh, goodness. Okay, so that guy, I underestimated a little bit. But uh, I still am very proud of my play, quite frankly. I did much better than I thought I would. There we go. I'm really mature and stuff. So that time, I'm... No, I did, I did not do well enough to actually rank. Oh my god, I think there's other guys playing at the same time as me, because they are, uh... They're catching up. Oh, I don't want to, I don't want the death scores, I want the... The hard scores. I'm, I'm not, I'm not kidding myself, I can't play this game on death mode. You know, it's, it's too much. Alright, let's go, Chiyoko, you and me. This is probably my favorite character so far. Um, again, just like... D being able to shoot lots of enemies at once means uh, I get good crowd control. I, don't have, I can focus on my dodging. You know, I don't have to think so much about where I'm aiming. Uh, basically, I'm I'm really lazy and stupid, and this character appeals to me. I mean, just look at that face. Okay, get wrecked. Get out of here. There's good value on that bomb. I'm happy with that. Come on, give me something else to shoot at. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ooh, that was really bad value. <laughs> oh, I should have waited like another half second to get those those airplanes. That's okay. We're doing okay, we haven't been hit yet. 
that guy gets bombed. There we go. That's worth a few points. Okay. Well, I didn't get to bomb him, but I do get to recharge my, uh, my, 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 my next bomb, basically. Get in here. We'll play aggressively. The nice thing is, like, nothing really shoots you from off screen in this game, so if I see something peek out, I can just clear it up. No problem. Just by going up and down like that. This guy just drops uh, power up, so I don't have to worry about that too much. Look at that, we're already past 10 million. So that's pretty good. Melty hard, yeah, let's go melty hard. So we're gonna we're gonna keep the same strategy going. Gonna try and stay high. <laughs> There's a weed joke in there somewhere, probably. Not that I would know about anything about weed. I actually, I, I've, been, I've talked about this in my Hollow Knight video. I have asthma, so I can't smoke. Um, because it's like, of course, smoking is bad for you, but it's like really extra super bad for me. So I just don't, I don't touch this stuff. So, you know. You know, you wanna, you wanna grow up to be responsible, be like me, kid. You gotta have a chronic disease. Uh, that'll keep you on the, the straight and narrow. <laughs> Anyways, what's going on in this stage? So we did get through that last level without um, without getting hit. So that's a great start. We're gonna we're gonna go into this with um, with a clean slate. Get bombed. No 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 no. I need that. Get back here. Oh, I hope I hope. I wonder if that will actually punish you that hard. Like if you can just lose the power up by not picking up quick enough. That would be really bad for me. I would not like that very much. Okay, so if the bomb doesn't like actually kill them, it looks like if you break them after they've been damaged by the bomb, they will still drop gold coins. At least for like a little while. Because the lightning does hit the whole screen, but it doesn't like kill everything in the screen. Uh oh, those are gonna fall on my head. I don't like that. That's okay. I don't have to, like, kill absolutely everything that comes my way. I'm okay with letting, like, some of the stuff live. I'm just waiting for more cats to appear so I can get good value. There we go. Oh, oh dear. I almost bit it there. Alright, so I still haven't been hit yet. Knock on wood. Alright, here he comes. Here comes Flowey. My- What? <laughs> Oh my goodness! Oh, he hit me before the boss fight started! <laughs> I'm so bad! Okay, okay. Um, so let's tighten up our gameplay a little bit. Uh, getting, getting hit before the boss fight began is a little embarrassing. <laughs> I'm not too happy with myself on that one. <laughs> oh goodness, smooth move, Xlax. That was... Oh, that was not... That was not something I'm proud of. <laughs> oh my goodness. Alright, so we got through, we got hit twice. Um, which, <laughs> really we got hit once during the boss fight. Um, next time I'll just be careful not to to get hit the, the other time. Okay, so we are past 200 million points and we didn't get an extra life. I don't think we did anyways. Um... <laughs> Unless I really wasn't paying attention. So maybe, uh, I'm pretty sure we got an extra life at some point in the last game. I don't know. I, I might just be completely wrong. We'll, um, we'll try and get past, uh, 200,000, and if we get, uh, the extra life for that, then, uh, we'll, we'll know. It would be a pretty weird place to say, like, alright, that's worth 200,000 points when you get... that That's worth an extra life. 200,000 points. Not, like... A multiple of 100,000 or whatever. Like, whatever, I guess. But it seems like a strange place to put it. In any case, I guess it could be 150,000, but I don't think so. Now, now, I'm, now I'm getting in my own head a, a bit too much. I got, I'm, I'm just, really, I'm just trying to distract myself so I don't get hit by accident like an idiot. Because at this point, that would mean the end of the run, and I'm, I'm not quite ready for that. There we go. That dodge was a little janky, but we made it. I'm waiting for those those caterpillars to come down. 
I don't want to bomb these guys only to have those suckers pop in my face. Because not only are they worth a lot of points, but um, they, they shoot the most bullets. Okay, you know what? He who dares wins. Yeah, <laughs> I knew that was going to happen. Oh, man. That's okay. Uh-oh. Uh, yeah, okay, we made it. Good. <laughs> that was a little that was a little sketchy. He who dares wins. I'm going to stick to that. All right, get out of here. Get wrecked. Yeah, I don't know if the gold ones actually recharge your shield, but I guess it would be a little bit OP because you could just chain them together. Yeah, those guys are done. Yeah, these guys just like, I get in close and I blast them like this. Yeah, that's a nice recharge for my bombs. All right, so I don't think there's a boss here. I've got to shave. My, my face is starting to get itchy. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm being distracted by it. All right. So, we're doing pretty well so far. Uh, we haven't gotten the extra life yet. Maybe that just happens when you beat the hospital? No, I don't have the extra life. Maybe, uh, maybe I'm just hallucinating having an extra life in the first place. I have no idea. You guys, you guys have to let me know later. You'll be my eyes and ears. All right, so we gotta clear these guys up. There we go, there's our bomb. All right, I have to, I have to like watch the point here, so that when we, when we pass the threshold, I, I gotta know if we get that extra point, if we get the, uh, the extra lives. The nice thing about shooting these sausages does means that it recharges our bombs. Now I'd rather blow them up with the bomb, because um, then we get points. But you know, since we don't have the bomb charged, it's a good way to charge it. All right, these guys need to go away. They do kind of sh shoot in streams of- Oh no! The little cactus balls got me. They shot us- I was- okay. What I was gonna say is because they shoot in a, in a V like that, you can kind of go between them without having to move too much. No, that's not what I wanted. Come on, you know my username at this point. Um, but uh, there's, there's another one that caught me off guard. 700 million in 10th place. Oh no! Oh no! Oh guys, oh guys, my my high school. I don't know if I'm gonna get on the leaderboard anymore. Uh, that's okay. We're not gonna worry about that. Yeah, I mean, what, what's our time at now? We can go for another run. Let's see if we can uh, if we can get to level five. Because day one's day one's not really a problem. Day two is going pretty okay. Uh, although the boss is still really hard. Day three is, is, I'm, I'm having trouble getting past it because I, I get to hit a bunch on the level two boss, basically. Um, and then the level three boss kicks my ass, or I get hit because I'm stupid. Okay, get out of here. I'm not dealing with that today. Oh no! Whoa! Brave, no, that wasn't brave, that was lucky. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. Let's get out of here. What a Bomb on that guy. There we go. Give me the golden coins. Forget Mario and the six golden coins. We're Mario and the seven hundred thousand golden coins. I'm gonna drop that bomb. It's worth. It's worth. We're gonna get. We're gonna get our money's worth. There we go. Get out of here. Get lost. There we go. Let's clear those guys out of here. Get off the stage. Get off the freaking stage. Yeah, these li these little ones don't stand a chance. They're they're just like they're 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 done for. They're done for before they even enter the arena. They're they're, they're exclusively to give me like bombs. All right, so here comes the uh, the boss. I do have to tighten down a little bit in order to not get totally wrecked. I like that I that I that I do a little bit of damage to everything with that attack. There we go. Well, with that attack, with my basic attack. So basically, I just have to hide in the corner and he can't hit me. Yeah, I think this. I think with this character at the very least, that's the strat. You just want to kind of sit there and try not to get hit. There we go. We're almost there. I can feel it. I can taste it. Oh, yeah! We, we, we beat the boss with the bomb, so that is going to be worth a whole lot of points. 
Because all the ones that would have dropped as blue coins drop as gold coins instead, so that is super. That's probably one of my highest scores coming out of level 1. So, we haven't been hit yet, let's keep it going into day 2. I, I keep alternating between calling it level 1 and level 2 and day 1 and day 2. Um, basically because my brain wants to call it, like, them levels. But, like, I read the text on the screen and go, oh, you freaking idiot. They're called, it's days in this game. They're called days, not levels. Get it together. Alright, these guys get bombed. Get out of here. You're done. You're done. You're done for. I gotta start thinking about the bombs as, as uh, blanks, like in Gungeon as well, because uh, the iframes are invulnerable. Iframes, by the way, I've been using that term a lot. I mean invincibility frames. Um, so if you already knew that and you're rolling your eyes at me, well, basically, go to hell. Not everyone's as smart as you, kiddo. Um, but if you didn't know what it is, I'm, I'm happy to be a uh, useful source of knowledge to you. Anyways. But, but uh, other than being able to wipe out a bunch of enemies at once, the bombs will uh, help us get, a, get out of certain sticky situations. Maybe that's how we want to use them against the boss, actually. Because that'll mean that uh, if we get trapped by a bunch of bullets, we can we can use the bomb to clear the, the stage for us a little bit. Um, and we'll just we'll obviously do damage to the boss as well. But if we get into a situation where uh, we're in the corner and we're going to get hit, then uh, we're going to drop a bomb and uh, try to uh, mitigate that a little bit. Yeah, we're going to bomb there. Use the iframes to our advantage. There we go. We saved ourselves at least one hit. We got hit anyways, but, you know. I, I hate the pink flower. These ones aren't so bad. Okay, so... Uh, we've only been hit once. Okay, that's pretty good. I feel good about that. Nice, well done. So we beat uh, so we beat the second boss without getting hit. So I think I think if we, we start to think about the bombs that way, as a way to clear bullets off the screen as well as do damage, then... Um, I'm, pr I'm probably just reciting the very basics of, of bullet hell. So if, if you guys are, are pro bullet hell players and you're like, Oh my god, this freaking idiot. It's like he's never played Toho. Well, there's a good reason for that. It's because I actually have not played Toho ever in my life. Um, <laughs> my, my, like I said, my first uh, shmup was uh, a long time ago. It's really my last serious shmup. And between that, I mean, I played... Isaac and Gungeon, but you, you probably hear that and go like, give me a break, those aren't shoot-em-ups. Yes, you're right, they're they're not really shoot-em-ups. I know the Gungeon has some bullet hell elements, but it's not it's not exactly Toho, it's very different. Um, so really, I'm, I'm, I'm talking to myself, I'm trying to coach myself, but you know, hopefully this is helpful for some of the other players uh, who are getting into this game. Uh, remember, that. So we're going to use the bombs to try and uh, clear out bullets as well as uh, try to wipe out big enemies and collect points. Because they are very good for wiping out big enemies and collecting points, but uh, when the boss fights come, if we get into a spot where we know we're going to get hit, we're going to drop a bomb and um, try and get to a safe place before the invincibility wears off. So for these guys, simple. Same thing. We're just going to get close. Charge the bomb. Wait to uh, find an enemy that's worth bombing, basically. These guys aren't a problem. These guys don't want to bomb. Because they shoot a million bullets at me and I don't like them. These guys you shoot. No problem. They're taken care of. This guy you shoot. Uh, is that the boss already? No. Okay. Shoot that guy, shoot these guys. I'm pretty sure the boss is after this. There's there's a certain amount of memorization to these levels. What am I talking about the boss, anyways? There's no boss on this level. Warning, yeah, okay. Warning what? The the doctor's closed, you idiot. Come back tomorrow. Hope your your lunch break is long enough jerk. Anyways, so that's that's a that's a tidy sum of points. I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, again, we've only been hit once so far, and that was against the level 2 boss, which is a lot better than I can I can say for some of the other plays. So we're going into day 4, 
actually um, pretty well set. We, we've got an extra hit, so um, it's not like we have to be as as stressed out going into it as we were earlier in the video. So let's clear these guys out. Of course, we still want to tighten down. We don't want to have to use those extra hits. But, um, you know, they're, they are available if we need them. I shoot the sausages, basically, to get my bomb back after bombing the sausages the first time. All right. Oh, yeah, okay. So I did get an extra life when I, when I cleared 200 million. So I don't know if there are, like, programmed checkpoints. Like, maybe I get another one at 500 million and then a billion points. Or if it's like every 200 million points, you definitely get one. Because I, I could see either of those being the case. Uh, so, you know, if we get to the point where... Uh, I'm sure we will get to the point where we start getting 400 million points in a game. Um, we'll know, basically, if we get an extra light at that point. Wipe my nose. Hope I don't get hit. There we go. There we go. We did it. <laughs> oh, man. So let's clear these suckers out. Get out of here. Get out of here. Not bad. All right. Oh, I hate this. Those guys. Those guys aren't so bad. They're they're intimidating, but they're not that bad. Cause you know it is a single point source of bullets. I totally let it hit me. That I shouldn't have let that happen. That was really bad. All right. So we made up for it in terms of points, but you know. We, we only have one hit going into the boss fight, so we can't hit get hit fighting this guy. So keep that in mind. This is a lump, live lump of flesh, Meat Man. So we gotta fight Meat Man now. We're gonna do the same thing as we did on the last boss fight. That was incredibly lucky. I should have been killed there. We're gonna do the same thing as before, where if we find ourselves needing the invincibility frames, then we're gonna bomb, but not before, because it's a waste. This guy, this guy gets blocked. Get out of here. Don't want to deal with that. Yeah, maybe that's just when we bomb on this boss fight, is when the big evil snake man comes out. Because that is too much to deal with. Oh, 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 okay, okay, I did it. Oh no! He headbutted me to death! <gasps> I forgot that I had an extra hit! I forgot that I got an extra life! Yeah, get out of here! Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. No, no, no! Oh, man. Oh. Oh, no, that's just, that's just downright heartbreaking. All right, all right, all right. We're, I'm feeling good about this. Good job, team. Again, uh, we are, we are, we're well off the leaderboard at this point, but, you know, nothing wrong with that. Um... So for now, we, we actually ran on a little bit, so we'll call that the end of the episode. We'll be right back. Um, I'm basically just going to keep playing this until I feel like um, I'm, I'm doing well. I think I'm going to change up the characters, but uh, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll alternate and figure figure out what I what I'm what I feel comfortable with. I really like um, that one in particular, but you know, again, we'll we'll try some different ones for now. Um, that's it for the that's the end of this episode. If you like what you saw, please remember to click the like button, subscribe, uh, comment on the videos. Uh, but for now, uh, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.